Now with my strut still supported, I just taken the nut out. Just in case I scrub in the outline on the steering knuckle. So at least I will align my strut back with its mark. Nut is out. The washer and the upper piece in my hand. The split washer probably needs to be replaced. I didn't know that, so I will have to reuse it for now and replace it later. On junkyard it was hard, on this car it was easy. So basically once you get this one out this way, slightly twist it and roll it down. This is homemade fixture, so I will just replace this zip tie. That's it. So now I prepare, I take in the nuts completely. So finally it's in place. I had to take my creative strut and replace it with the jack because indeed it needs to come out a little bit because it will be no room to remove it if you will just try to remove it straight and sideways. It's gonna bump into the brake line. So this probably is the best setup. The screws are in so I will snug the nuts and do final adjustment at the end it's about the right height this one is very compressed right now so we will see how it will work out so if everything turns out fine i will have to get new nuts right here and new washer on the top it won't be issue to replace them one by one this one is nice and tight. This one I will still have to do some very fine adjustment and uh, to match my line marks perfectly and tighten it to the specified torque and go to the other side. And of course put zip tie right, right here. Hopefully I will not need alignment after that. This side came up a lot easier so Probably just using tire jack right here and a little bit of wiring right here will be enough to prevent overextension of the axle, at least on the driver's side. This one, which this link which I replaced in 2013, feels much, much better than another one which is original. So I probably need to change another one too, even though it doesn't make any noises like this one used to make, but it's just something to think about. Once I tighten the strut all the way in, I put this, torque tighten the screws, and reattach the ABS, and we'll take it for a ride. Hopefully my steering wheel stays straight. Those are the parts. The bearing was almost coming through this place. So sometimes it's a good idea to replace them. A little bit of persuasion. This one went in perfectly. I need to put nut, which I will replace later with a single-use nut. So the steering was straight. At least I didn't feel any pulls. Same like before, even better. Less road noise because those are rubber pieces fresh. And uh, there is still, however, the steering knock, which most likely is the steering shaft itself, but not the suspension parts. So I will monitor the tension of the lower nut on the right hand side and replace them at my earliest opportunity as well as washers for the uh, upper strut mounts.